so many people, including myself, you know, so many people dream of so much and want to accomplish so many things, things that other people are can't even fathom. And yet we stop right where the waves start. And it's like our dream is right in front of us. It's like all of it's possible. It's all right there, but we're too scared. We're too scared to step off that land into potentially something very fulfilling because, because you gotta get through those hurdles first. You gotta get through all that, that, rough, that rough beginning. And that's what waves usually are, is a, is a rough beginning. That's where all the undertow lies. That's where you can get sucked under and scraped and cut and, and beat up. And, Unfortunately, some people get out there and they come right back to land running with the tail between their legs because they don't want to try anymore because it was too hard. And it's unfortunate because I think you find true happiness once you can make it through all of that harshness, all of that, you know, pain and suffering is when you see this nice, clear, calm dream. How can anybody know true happiness if you've never experienced true sadness, pain, or true suffering? How could you possibly know that's the happiest you could be if you've never experienced a low point? I think that low point is what almost gives us a wake-up call. It gives us that slap to the face, that dose of reality. You know, you need that, that balance. The, the world is balanced, and if you have nothing but happy, you have nothing but you know, one side of the coin, you can never truly be fulfilled. You know, life to me is pain and sorrow and, and sadness and happiness and joy and love and lust. It's, it's, it's everything combined. If you have one side of that and that's all you're portraying or that's all you wish to look at, then you're missing out. At the end of the day, you got two options. Either you're gonna stand there and be scared and forever be scared or do you take that step out and realize oh, it's not so cold it's not so bad and then maybe you almost drown but you know what you didn't you're still alive <laughs>